a nice place to be. But if if something were to happen and a trade came in at a very different rate than what we anticipated, we would go back to that v, VM or VE log and say, okay, let's take a look. Do we really need um, this type of flooring type or do we need this type of tile? Can we can we reduce something here or there? And it's just an it's kind of an options list, if you will, that we can begin to chip away at if we need to reduce cost. I think the list you might be looking at are things that are stated that are not included in the GMP. So that kind of goes in the opposite direction. So there's this is kind of our wish list items that it would be great if we could have them, but there's no impact to the program or the educational quality if they're not included. Um, I, I think one of them, which I can speak to, is, for example, I think it's the fencing on the outside of the multi-purpose field between the multi-purpose field and the 66 ramp. It's not taking away from anything. It's not causing any issues to it. And it's one of those that we just need to identify as the site work plan gets finalized, like what that hill is going to look like on the back end. Do we really need that extra fencing or not? That's what those items are. Um, and it's nothing that we feel that the, the school is going to be less without them. I think also the list includes things like ceilings in the storage areas, right. um, stuff like that. And those are things that if we want to continue to reduce our costs, they're, they're currently, just as an example, they're currently our ceilings in storage closets. Tiles. Tiles, ceiling tiles. We don't actually think we need to have ceiling tiles in storage closets. So that's one of those items that's on the list that we could take out, which would then pour more money uh, into, or savings, for mm -hmm. example. Does that answer your question? I think so. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I know there were some questions about what would be found when the digging happened and the soil quality. And I don't know if that would have any impact one way or the other on the economics of it. But were there any, have there been any surprises so far? No, I think. We, we actually had that conversation today. <laughs> yeah. I, um, Brian Del Favreau yeah. is here. He's the, um, he, he's the one who's in charge of the whole project over at uh, George Mason. And we were talking today and nothing, to, nothing interesting was found in the soil. Um, in fact, um, the question that I asked was we were sort of planning for deep foundations and there are there's not a need to do deep foundations um, which was good and we didn't find not even a, a bottle a bottle cap nothing <laughs> nothing in the soil so um, it turned out to be okay but was it still not great dirt that had to be it's still off? not it's great still not dirt great. which is why we're doing an extra I think it's 30 inches 36 inches. 36 inches of undercut in order to get us to the right soil bearing capacity without having to do deep foundations. Okay, and then just with respect to economics and where the economy is going, maybe things aren't going to be getting more expensive in the next few months. Will Is there going to be a chance if we were to enter softer economic times to revisit some of the pricing, or is, is this... Are we basically avoiding downside risk, but also giving up upside risk as part of that bargain? So it's open book accounting. However, it, it's that's kind of the double-edged sword with averting risk. Um, we could definitely look to Gilbain and see if there's any opportunity for trades that are not bought today. But with the volatility that we have, and it's just also the thing with this particular market, like the D.C. area market, if you recall back to like 2008, um, construction companies were still busy unless they were doing office buildings, which is what took a downturn during that recession. Um, you still had a lot, like it was still a very competitive market. Um, pricing didn't go down quite as much as it did in other parts of the country. Um, we can definitely, it's open book accounting for all of the trade pricing, so we can definitely take a look at that and see if there's any savings to be had. But the part of it is, is that we're committing to trade contractors and we're telling them we are committed to buying your labor, your uh, materials, um, and you are committing to deliver them on the schedule that we need them. Um, but we'll definitely take a look at that and see. Any other questions? Okay. 
that's it for us. Okay. We're just really excited to be um, moving into the second phase of GMP and uh, feeling really good about where we are. Um, I know that there was a brief update just to give everybody a, a sense of where we are. There's a lot of concrete going in right now. Um, if you have a chance to go to Mary Ellen Henderson and go to the third floor, sort of in the back, and see the overlook, um, there was there's a big mat pad that's been poured, and now they're pouring the footings and the spread footings, and they're starting on the exterior of the, the hole, uh, and then later in the summer, or later in the fall, they'll go down the middle, um, but anticipate having all the footings and the um, concrete for the foundation done um, probably late September, yeah. um, early early October, um, which means that um, we'll be some, something still. might be coming out of the ground before we know it. So really exciting um, times at, at where we are. So I would encourage you, if you, if you, even if you don't go to Mary Ellen Henderson, you can always look at camera one or camera two <laughs> on the website and you can see actually uh, where the, the foundations have been poured. So it's starting to look like a, something different than just a big hole in the ground, which is exciting. Well, right. thank you very much for the update. And thank it you. is exciting to, to be at this point and, and see all the activity and the good progress going on. We'll look forward to seeing, uh, seeing the final in uh, September. Great. Sounds good. So, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. With that, we'll uh, move on now to Section 3.01 uh, and the beginning of, uh, of our work session and our retreat. And uh, Marty, I believe there's food. So I believe there's food in the next room. So I would encourage everybody to go and get your uh, get uh, dinner and then come on back in here to begin the process. We'll start at 6.15? Yep. Thank you. <laughs>